This is CNBC's live blog tracking developments on the war in Ukraine. Ukraine targeted the Russian city of St. Petersburg with a drone attack overnight. Ukraine's Minister of Strategic Industries, Alexander Kamishin, told a panel at the World Economic Forum in Davos, according to Interfax News Agency. Russia claimed on Thursday that Ukraine had attacked several areas of the country with drones, including the northwestern Leningrad region for the first time. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky on Thursday night urged allied countries to ensure that sanctions against Russia are fully enforced. The terrorist state manufactures weapons, including missiles. There are dozens of critical components in each of them that were manufactured abroad, many of which were produced by companies from the free world, he said in a post on X. Blocking sanctions evasion loopholes means literally blocking terror. I am grateful to all of our partners who understand this, as well as everyone around the world who supports our relevant efforts. Moscow on Thursday rejected U.S.-Russian arms control negotiations owing to U.S. support for Ukraine, which Washington suggested cast doubt on the potential for a new treaty limiting the two adversaries' strategic nuclear arsenals. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov told a news conference that the U.S. had proposed separating the issues of Ukraine and the «strategic stability» conversation around arms control, but that Russia considered the West's backing of Ukraine as a «hybrid war» against Moscow, according to Reuters. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky on Thursday night urged allied countries to ensure that sanctions against Russia are fully enforced. The terrorist state manufactures weapons, including missiles. There are dozens of critical components in each of them that were manufactured abroad, many of which were produced by companies from the free world, he said in a post on X. Blocking sanctions evasion loopholes means literally blocking terror. I am grateful to all of our partners who understand this, as well as everyone around the world who supports our relevant efforts. Ukrainian Minister of Foreign Affairs Dmitro Kuliba said he's seen no change in tone from the U.S. administration when it comes to how they want Ukraine to approach the war and diplomacy. I have no reasons to doubt the sincerity of the commitments of the Biden administration to continue helping Ukraine, he told CNBC. Nor do I have reasons to believe that the Republican Party as a whole does not realize how fundamental it is to defeat Russia in Ukraine and not to allow Russia to continue destroying the world order built by America, he said. I mean let's be honest. The word we live in was built under American leadership. The U.S. administration has recently stepped up the pressure on Congress to provide billions more in aid to Kyiv in its war with Russia.